Have you ever wondered how a Super Mario level like this would look in 2D? Me too! I bet no one would dare suggest me to take on this silly challenge. Wait, yes I do! The 20 people who picked this option! Y'all are insane! But, alas, I am not a man who's known to break promises, so let's f do this! Let's take a Super Mario Galaxy... Uh, galaxy? Level? Stage? And turn it into a 2D Super Mario World level. But which galaxy am I going to transform, you ask? This game has so many fun and memorable galaxies. Honey Hive, Gussie Garden, Freeze Flame, Ghostly Galaxy, and so many more. Here's the thing though, these galaxies have unique gimmicks and mechanics that really only work in a 3D setting. And this is not including the fact we are taking away a whole ass dimension from everything, which is a surefire way to limit the accuracy and the amount of things that I can port over to the 2D level. And I'm almost certain that most of these recreations from either of these galaxies in a Mario World level will be kinda cope, <laughs> let's be honest. So my pick for this video will be Good Egg Galaxy. Yeah, vanilla, I know. But it still has objects like this, and this, and this! But notice how it doesn't focus on any specific gimmick, there are no lava, lava planets, boo power-ups or oni patches. Nevertheless, we still gotta up our creativity here. As for me, I'm gonna surpass mine right here and now. So to make this level, I'm gonna use Super Mario Construct. <laughs> Look, I know that Mario Maker 2 does have that upside down mode whenever you switch to the nighttime and if you set the underground theme to your level. I know this because I have the game. Though in Mario Construct, you can use style sets anywhere you want in the level, and it's a 100% free-to-play fan game. If this is the first time that you hear about it, definitely check it out, it's an awesome level editor. One last thing I must address before making the level, yes, I could have gone for a more advanced tool or fan game, such as Lunar Magic for, uh, you know, Super Mario World hacking, or SMBX, but I like Super Mario Construct. If you still prefer Lunar Magic or SMBX, uh, good for you, frankly. I don't give a shit. Will it be a good level? Only time will tell, so stick around. Ooh, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking of also adding this little room, the terrace, just before we enter the level. I don't know, it just would be a really cool touch, just before we enter the main area. So yeah, let's give it a shot. Okay, here we are in Super Mario Construct. This is what the title screen looks like, all looking lively, you need to change up and everything. To go to the level editor, just press this thing right here, this button and takes you to the to the level menu so let's uh, delete the um, uh, random level here um i'm not sure, sure why i created this and hit create new level as simple as that so yeah let's go with super mario world style to, as uh, as i promised you and here we go this is where you pick the theme i did say that, that i'm gonna recreate that terrace thing right okay one screen because we're gonna start off here it's it's only a really small part of the level. That's that. Uh, let's um, map out the floor here. Three spaces in between. Sure, that looks, that looks good. So that's the floor um, taken care of. <laughs> Best to design the walls. The walls are kind of kind of a blue t blue tone, bluish tone. I'm gonna resort to these. The terrace does have a curved roof, so gonna do gonna go with something like this. It's not uh, perfect, I know, but be creative with your limits. That, that's kind of kind of the point here. It does incentivize you to explore more options and more ideas, and, and to play around with all these tile set pieces and all kind of visuals that you can actually create. That, that's the beauty of it. That's why I, I highly recommend you check this out. Looks good, yeah. That's that's it for um, our frame. Okay, let, let's uh, stick with this and do the same for the other side, like so. Yeah, should be good enough. Actually, I think we could um, compress the the walls a little bit more. <laughs> Two blocks, yeah. I think two is a good good unit. Move it down a notch like this, and yeah, it should be okay. Okay, I believe it's time to add um, a, a black area surrounding this this bit, kind of to give up that feel uh, of uh, being a toad house, kind of like the ones you see in Super Mario Bros. 3. Uh, it's best if I show you what I mean. Grab this square block and switch to a different layer because it's gonna like overlap everything you see here. So yeah, just kind of make something like this. I didn't draw this earlier because it may confuse me with the actual balance of the level, so yeah, it's always good to pay attention to that first, like so. And yeah, just start tiling something like this. This design should work, like so. For a SMW look, it, it looks pretty pretty cool, but we gotta, just gotta cover that. Or you could uh, rectify the design a little bit, kind of like some something like this, maybe, just so it doesn't look um, 
kind of weird and, and not sym symmetrical at all. And a little bit something like this. It's a lot of experimenting, I know. It's kind of like the same thing when, when making levels, really. Yeah, kind of gives up a toad, toad owls-ish vibe. It may not be perfect, but it is what it is. Okay, just cover up this area just so it doesn't look cut off. And bam. We got ourselves a toad house. Or the Terra cells from Mario Galaxy, whatever you, you want to call it. Alright, that, that's um, a few more fixes done. I guess I could have um, a little decoration over there. It, because the original game does have that, that door entrance in the background. So I might as well just add this, make this little addition to the map. <laughs> so Mario comes in. It does have that, that um, black luma in the original area. We're gonna have an NPC. Mario Construct does have NPCs, quite a lot of them in fact. As you can see right, right here, the default one is Toad, so instead of adding a Toad, I'm gonna add something spe someone even more special. You guessed it. There she is, Rosalina. And uh, this, gonna, maybe I'll, I'll include the text later into the video. I gotta gotta craft, uh, craft something that resembles that, um, that little blue star that, that attracts you and pulls Mario. So, yeah, we're gonna actually gotta, um, you know, make something that kind of looks like it. That's, this is where we have to be, get really creative. <laughs> nah, I, yeah, that's gonna cut it. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to use something else. There's, there is this little star available. <laughs> it's in a beach tile set. It's kind of not symmetrical though, but that's kind of a... I know it doesn't look symmetrical, but uh, yeah, maybe four, four little stars. Maybe. I mean, that kind of kind of object is it, comprised of uh, at least two stars, one bigger one and one smaller one in the middle. So yeah, maybe this is a really fun compromise to, to leave there. It does give you that something special. You definitely should uh, interact with it. Kind of gives out that vibe, yeah. <laughs> if you're gonna include a warp here, you can definitely do that in Super Mario Construct. But for that, we have to create a new map that will introduce us to the level itself. Actually, I'm gonna try to make a, a cutscene. Okay, so here we are, we, this, we have a completely black uh, map, we have nothing in here, and we have these little um, things going on outside the bounds, because you can only place things that are considered objects outside of bounds, like these grey blocks here, this bubble, Mario itself, the start, starting point, and this text block. And this is a persistent uh, object loader, gotta have to make all greys, uh, well, greyed out, Otherwise, it, it, Mario just won't, won't bounce off the bubble and trigger the, the text box. Like you're gonna see right here, if you double click here and play test. Yeah, you enter this map, it, it triggers the text box, it's gonna say, say text for now. But I'm gonna rename it to the, the name of the level, Good Egg Galaxy or Average Egg Galaxy. <laughs> yeah, essentially that's how it's gonna work. And then, bounces off, and then Mario drops off to the first area of the galaxy. This means I already created a, a third map for the, for the first area of the galaxy, right here, which is um, a grassland thing with, with that little house. So, yeah, yeah, it's it's not a, it's a pretty small map still, 32 tiles by 15 high, and yeah, now it's, it is comprised of, of, a, of a wooden bridge and, and a, then a stone bridge on the other side. And you, you could just um, move over to, to the bottom of the planet, um, to the stone part, from any area. So, gonna um, end it around here, have a special blend here, and have it three blocks away from the boundaries. Comes down. Then, you notice there's, there is a green pipe there, over there, so gonna have it here. This green pipe just, gonna, just takes us to the other side of the planet, so gonna have our house over here. Just gonna delete the rest of this. And then it has uh, two oct octo goombas, or what? I don't remember what these creatures are called, but yeah, octo goombas, I think. I'm just gonna add some uh, goombas here. They're not specifically in the game, but yeah, <laughs> just gonna have the uh, two of them right over here. The, ori the original ones are are static and just uh, wave around in one bit, in, in a, one side from another, and then it just uh, adverts you whenever you get too close to them. But yeah, they kind of just look like Goombas, so gonna leave them, leave one of them right here. House does it does have a little door. You you cannot enter this house, by the way. Thinking about what I should add for it. Okay, this one does have a kind of a um, similar structure, not structure, texture, texture. Okay, let's make something like this, and then a, an orange or and red roof. So maybe something like this. A lot of experimenting. Like I said, I feel like. Could be a little bit yellower. 
we're gonna have a little door later that of course the little door over there maybe here then the little window up on this side actually it's on the other it's on the right side okay that's interesting <laughs> mm, yeah maybe something like this it's kind of to to reflect the, the color from from the roof <laughs> And then we're gonna have another tile to show off the inside of the house. So I think this tile set is one of the better ones. Something like this. And bam. Kinda adds a whole different perspective to it. Okay, I tried. I tried, okay? <laughs> okay, under the tree now. But as you can see, it's, it kinda has a dark green... Kinda has a dark green tone to it too, so maybe this palette will, will work better. So, and, and you can make the trunk as as wide or as thin as you want to be as you want to be thanks to these little scissor icons here on the top right you enable or disable it to separate the tiles and make it as big or as wide or as thin as you want for this i'm going i'm just gonna make it two two tiles wide but the foliage is kind of greenish and, and here it's it's um be beige yellow it's not a very fitting color but so we're gonna have to play jiggle around a little bit with layers here and then Use another layer for for the green foliage, like so. Yeah, that looks that looks good. Draw our tree, our beautiful tree. Okay, yeah, it doesn't look too bad actually. It's not perfect, I know. Probably gonna add a little bit more more detail to this. Maybe gonna switch up back to the layer and maybe try a different color. Add some more greenery, a different tone of green to add a little bit more depth to it. Something like this. Yeah, a little, little bits like so. And it's not too bad. Kind of like it's bearing fruit, in a, in a way. <laughs> so I'm gonna just proceed up with a decoration here later, so I just want to finish uh, the basic structure of, of the level, of the area, if, if you will. One side has a, a wooden bridge and the other one has a stone bridge. So this area should be the wooden one. Let's make it like so, why not? And then stone bridge is over there. Something like this to kind of uh, simulate the railing. Yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. Yeah, I think I think this works. Now take care for the of, take care of the stone bridge. Okay, I'm going with this tile set, and I'm gonna go with this color because it's almost like the exact color in the game. So yeah, I'm gonna pick this one, and uh, yeah, sure we can go go from there. This can work. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty much the the, the um, map the first area finished. So let's move to the stone area. Here we are, so this one has to be a little bit bigger. The wooden bridge leads to a different place and then the stone one leads to another. So the one, one leads to a, an area that just gives you some more uh, star bits and the other one actually does lead you to the, the big star that launch that propels you to another planet in the galaxy. So yeah, we're gonna have to, to switch things up a little bit. Like, we're gonna have one floor, one level of height for some bonus, some goodies then another level of height for the warp to the next area. We're gonna have a stone floor made up of these two. Oh, this this, this looks really sexy, oh my god. Yeah, th I think this will work just greatly. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Mario will come up well, from this side. Just give a little, the terrain a little bit more variety. Why not? Just so it doesn't look too flat. Perhaps I'm, I made the level a little bit too long. Let me cut back a little bit. And perhaps a little bit too high too. Yeah, okay. And, and they deleted uh, everything. It shouldn't have. Oh, okay. There it is. <laughs> I still feel like this area is a little bit too long. Didn't, didn't plan to have this much styling in, in this side, so just gonna cut back a little bit. Horizontally. Yeah, something like this will work for sure. We can add some goodies over here and some question blocks. Then some more up ahead. I'm actually gonna make this spawn a mushroom. Let me keep progressive. Uh, why not? It's gonna. Yeah, this, this one is the bubble flower from Super Mario Bros. Wonder. If you if you asking, I'm actually gonna replace it with flip blocks because it, it this is a Super Mario World level we're making. So I think it's only fitting. <laughs> this is the green pipe that connect that will connect with the other area that we just built. But so yeah, just gonna keep on expanding here. And uh, start building this second, second floor of this of the of the of this side, that will lead us to the the big star that sends you to the other planets. So, so let's stay consistent with the the other, with the other thing, the other bridge. 
that we built on the other side. So I'm going to make something like this here, like so, then alternate back and forth. I'm going to add some more Groom Brats here because Alpha Goombas do, do reside in, in the path. And we're gonna have we gotta have to take to reach star to the star propeller or whatever that thing is called. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this will work. This will be the path for the star, the main the main area. And gonna make it so like we're actually going up. I think you guys are gonna look, look like I think you guys are gonna like the setup I'm gonna make here. Just you watch. Probably should have a, a wall or something. Just so I mean, yeah. I mean, you won't die if you if you go over this somehow accidentally. But uh, yeah, kind of just have to go back up again. <laughs> this is part where you don't actually drop to the floor. There will be a, another platform up in this area, this, which is where we'll have our extra goodies. In the original in the original game, it's just the extra star bits. But here, I'm actually gonna uh, include a dragon coin. You know, to incentivize some more collecting in the level. I think this is gonna be real that's gonna add a real fun touch. And and maybe some replayability. Just just another thing to do in the level. Throw in an NPC here on top. Toad maybe? Yeah. Yeah, maybe a little toad. Maybe. So they're not completely left out of operation. And maybe it's gonna, gonna go with something like that. I actually love these decorations. I, I actually really, really love them. You guys are gonna see why. It's about time to we, we make this the platform that leads to the extra goodies, so I'm gonna create a semi-solid for this. Maybe something like this. We will kind of blend in with uh, everything, but yeah, something like this can work. Yeah, something like this. Kind of looks like um, some some of the rocks in the wall are kind of rotting away. That's why they're displaying some different shades, just for that little organic touch. Just not to, to not make like like everything look the same. I, I think that it, we can work that definitely. Then gonna actually gonna maybe something to add more depth. Sure. Let's let's actually place our dragon coin here. Yes, the, of course there are dragon coins in this game, just like in Mario World. And yeah. Okay, yeah, that, that this looks really nice. Maybe add a little bit more enemies here. A few Goombas, why not? One here, one over there. Maybe a few like these. Yeah, this can work. Because this area only add Goombas. Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll do something first. I'll uh, change this up a little bit. Just so the player doesn't have to deal with it. Doesn't have to deal with an incoming enemy already, so yeah, gonna e ease that up a little bit. In a minute. Yeah, maybe something like this. Yeah, something like this. Maybe a few coins here and there, sh of course. Because what's a Mario level without coins, right? So yeah, maybe a nice stream of coins. Yeah, something like this can work for sure. And yeah, this is where we're gonna add. Up here is where we're gonna add our, our warp, our stars. So instead of uh, we're gonna resort to the beach shells again because it has these these little stars right up here. <laughs> yeah. So gonna probably make this four star four stars again, which means it will take us to a new area. Yeah, I think we're just about ready. Save for a few decoration elements here and there. But yeah, we're gonna take care of that later. This looks good. We're gonna, gonna have some nice mobility, some freedom to move around. I think it will be, it will be pretty cool. Just need to um, take care of the exits. Let's, let's test it out. Oh, here we, here we go. Let's go over to this side. Yeah. Bouncing, bouncing. Over here. And there we go. There we go. Wow. There we go. Then we reach the star over here. To get to the other planets. To the other areas. So yeah, so far, so good. 
Next up is this dumbbell shaped um, mud thingy. Or uh, how does this thing look like, like a planet anyway? <laughs> but uh, whatever. This is going to be a much smaller map, thankfully. <laughs> so probably something like um, how do you give this thing a name? Dumbbell planet with mud. Yeah. Very fitting name. This is going to be one of the toughest areas to recreate because all that there is in this editor that's remotely close to these giant rolling boulders is this thing. This bouncy spiny egg and the newly added spike ball. He's so cute. He's so cute. Oh. Okay. Anyway, gotta make this thing a uh, uh, bell shaped. Uh, where's the tile? Okay. I have to grab something to make it be drawing. Okay. Yeah. Gonna have to draw something like this. Definitely not. Kind of a, a little bit like an infinite symbol, but oh, what have I done? Oh, God, no, 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 no. okay, we, we good, we good, we good now. So yeah, it's time to uh, ship up this thing. Okay, it kind of looks like something like this. Uh, doesn't look doesn't look too bad as I as bad as I thought. So <laughs> it's not too bad. Okay, the base shape is done. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> It's kind of a really mangled up dumbbell. <laughs> okay, uh, at least it's something, right? It, it's definitely something. Ah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, okay. Uh, I was gonna drop the, the spike balls. Is there something on it? Oh, that's definitely not what I wanted. But I have an idea. So yeah, at this point I'm just recreating those muddy parts with the uh, brown water. It's the closest thing you can actually recreate um, in this editor. We, uh, you will be able to swim up to move slower to throughout these parts to weave, weave yourself around the spike walls. You will always stay at attracted to the, to the floor. This, this thing has its own gravity. To emulate that, I have something in, in store to show you all. So check this out. Yeah, okay. This this editor has, has both screen maps on both axes, so even if I fall off here, I'll always come up come out on the top. It's always pulling me towards the planet. This is where the fun begins. Whoa, I don't need this many. Jesus. It'll probably be a little bit too strong, but I think you got the idea of, of what this does. It really it has the ability to suck uh, both Mario and anything that is considered a sprite towards this point. It is some, some a way to recreate the actual gravity here to make this this come more to life in, in this 2D setting. Jesus. Yeah. See. Wow. Okay. Uh, I have to fix that up real quick. Don't I? <laughs> Yikes, okay, I'm gonna, gonna, definitely gonna have to work on that. <laughs> There's definitely a lot going on here. <laughs> this will be fun to test for sure. Oh, it's kind of almost worked. And, whoa, okay. <laughs> okay, this kind of works. <laughs> kind of lets you stay in. Oh, it's a, even stronger than I imagined. Damn. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Okay, that, that is less than desirable now. <laughs> amazing. Like, absolutely amazing. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> See, this is the beauty of testing, for sure. It can be a little bit frustra frustrating at times, but moments like these are always appreciated. You can't help but laugh. <laughs> I got stuck again! This is not good. <laughs> Uh, oh god, this is... Okay, this didn't work as well as I hoped. <laughs> I will be the first one to admit that. I can't even get out from here. Gonna have to patch that up. But, uh, we actually want this to be... Feel good to play, rather than being a... A torture, so... Yeah. Compromises will have to be made. This is the right... This is the first map where this happens, for sure. Ah, uh, oh well. It's part of level making, y'all. Okay, uh, it kind of still retains this shape a little bit, so yeah, I think this is uh, this is looking fine enough. We can even add the, uh, can I even chuck it in a, a dragon a dragon coin inside, just to throw the player a little bit of an extra challenge. Why not? 
kind of like, like it's it's encrusted inside of the rain. It's, it's kind of fun. Kind of an easy coin to get, but yeah. Oh, here we go. Kind of, we kind of don't get pulled in. Oh, yo, whoa! <laughs> ah, this is actually pretty... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Where is that thing going? Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Ah, it still gets stuck in here. But what are we going to remove the slanted, these, these slanted generators? Maybe it's a little bit too much. I know it's kind of cool to recreate this, but... It is the... The closest thing you can, um... Either, oh, there it is again! Jesus! No way, sir. <laughs> Actually, uh... Maybe this stone won't be such a bad fit. I mean, there is a kind of a of a really small gray stones uh, in that planet, so yeah, I, I don't see why why not. Yeah, there we go. Whoa, whoa! I feel like this is gonna be definitely gonna be the most challenging part uh, of the, of the level. <laughs> Look at that! It, this is peak. This is peak content. <laughs> right. Amazing. This is actually peak now. Whoever loses this is a skill issue, for real, for real. Okay, but we still need to find a way to actually summon or make uh, make the, the next warp available. So, no more kidding around. Let's uh, build that right away. So, yeah, in, in the original planet, you have these five shards left to collect. So, but there isn't any object that functions this way that uh, collect X, uh, X pieces to unlock certain thing. Uh, there is no such thing in this editor yet, but we can add something else. We can add several switches and protect them like this. I know it will be it will be a little bit uh, different, sure. It's still the only feasible way to to actually make something like this work. Yeah, it looks a little bit silly, I know, but yeah. Okay, we, it's actually possible. <laughs> Hey, it's... Oh, you can just come up here and... Okay. This small issue. It does look super silly, but... Uh, this might be one of the feasible way, The actual feasible ways to do this, so... Probably won't be, it won't be needing any, too many switches, actually. So... Okay, that's everything. I know it might sound a little, look a little bit cool, but yeah. This thing is a freaking menace. Uh, I actually make it strong instead of turbo. Jesus. Yeah, I, anyway, I had to nerf this some, somehow. Yeah, okay. That should be it. Yeah, it's really tricky to hit the, the switches from the si sideways. It's a, kind of a scuff recreation, but uh, honestly, for such a complex design of that little dumbbell planet, it's... It's one of the best uh, designs I could come up with, uh, honestly. Yeah, e even with the help of the generators, it still feels a little bit, uh, you know, but it, it still it, it does try to emulate the gravity effect. There is even a dragon coin to for you to collect. So yeah, maybe this didn't didn't need so many uh, switches. In fact, we're just just gonna remove the green one altogether. Yeah, maybe this can work, and uh, probably remove the. These barriers too, these extra extra blocks. Okay, yeah, it's a lot, a whole lot quicker for someone who was actually playing this for the first time. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a little, a little bit tricky to figure out. But hey, so so was the original plan. It was kind of tricky to navigate through the, those patches of mud, you know, while avo avoiding the rolling boulders at the same time. So, yeah, I think this is this is a somewhat accurate recre uh, recreation of that area. Uh, I don't know. Okay, I actually made a few revisions in on this map. Now that I made the generators located outside of the bounds, and they push the sprites towards the surface instead, just because it's a little more, more it's a little easier to move around the, these parts of the level, and it's easier to dodge the wherever the spike ball is. <laughs> you know, just if if, if, we, if I'm going to share this with with other people, it's best to make their lives a little bit easier, right? <laughs> Oh, and uh, I actually cover the stars with the switch blocks laid around like this, which further incentivizes the player to go and search for the three switches around the planet. So, on to the next area. 
Yeah, the next part is actually a really, a really tiny planet that's shaped like a bean or something. One blue Goomba and the one piranha plant. It will be a lot smaller, which is, I mean, I'm just gonna have one screen for this planet, for this area. But it, this area still has, has, has strong enough gravity to never get pushed into a black hole. So there will be no bottomless pits, you can die from that way. Which means I'm gonna include a screen map on both axes. Okay, it's time to tile the little beanie. I might just stick with the vanilla grass instead and make it lime green. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay, perfect. Snip out this part so it's a little easier to work with. Okay, doesn't look too bad actually. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> it's uh, it's definitely looks like something. <laughs> kind of a different pickle. <laughs> Could have had those brains. Okay, all right. So this planet does not have a, a star propulsor, but it does have something that, that sprouts a, a little vine. I'm actually gonna make this a little bit taller. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna see why. And uh, yeah, there's not really not a whole, not a whole lot going on. So this thing does have a pretty pretty respectable gravity. And where is it? I can't find it. I cannot find the generator. Oh, oh there it is. There it is. There are no stationary piranha plants, but yeah, no, it needs to be covered. Uh, cut off. Yeah, I know. Ah, it still looks like shit. Why does it look like shit? Okay, so yeah, the problem is if I wanted to make if I wanted to add an exit to the next area with the screen wrap, I I will be able uh, to actually touch it without actually needing the beanstalk, which is not what what my intention was. So yeah, gotta have to come up with a way to actually not touch with the warp exit. With a way to it actually forces you to use to use the beanstalk, so yeah, we gotta get creative a little bit here again. Yeah, gonna need another power up for sure. Okay, gonna t show you why you're gonna need a, a power up such as the super leap. So yeah, Mario cannot do actually spawn anything unless he, he hits it with something like a fireball or by swatting it with the tail. Then Mario comes up, and yeah, that's not actually wanted to do at all. So yeah, gonna have to fix that. Maybe I'll just uh, remove the um, vertical screen map altogether. Yeah, I guess I'll gonna gonna do just that, or only horizontal. Then again, you'll be able to die by falling. So I definitely don't want that. I should make make this spawnable because you can actually carry you can actually carry the beam wherever whenever you can. I guess I could just uh, point an arrow to indicate where the where the exit actually is. Point it upwards. Okay, perfect. Actually, gotta just uh, remove the entire the entire vines and move back the, um, the a coin or dragon coin. For this reason, yeah, yeah. Okay, that looks a lot better. Yeah, that's better for sure. I didn't forget about them. It will look silly, but it is a, a more fair re recreation and it's actually challenging. Okay, th and then we will go move on to the next warp. Okay, that's another... don't mind that. That's another map done, essentially. <laughs> so yeah, gonna add some more decoration later when when we we're going to play test our level so, but yeah th um this map is pretty much done so yeah gonna move on to the next one okay up next we have the black holes area there's like two or three of them god damn okay this one will be a little bit tricky to make i guess i could in include some thin platform areas with with the, with the solid um with solid tiles, then, then some, maybe some, um, some li taking some liberties here and there for some extra challenges. You know, there are no lo no long jumps, no no interacting with the with the super elastic thingies that you use to hit this big piranha plant. And we have to factor in this extra with, with this bonus zone for this flip switch zone. I I think I'm just gonna go with the simple on and off bonus zone. Yes, I'm gonna add this thing into the, into the level too. Don't worry. Okay, so we still it still uses a grass style set, so 
that is something. And you, you remember that these little red or orange particles that come from the black holes? I will have something that to emulate, you know, to give off an extra visual touch to this. So this editor has a effects menu. You come here to the magic wand icon, name the properly named effects, and then you select um, embers. Select create, and there you go. Look at that. It really, it is intentionally used for for lava things, but. For, for this black hole thing, I think it, it works pretty well. If, especially if you switch the intensity down here to low. So yeah, maybe uh, I'll double the speed of the small embers. Actually, even faster because it's a black hole thing. Uh, 512. Yo, oh, this looks awesome. Oh, and you can, and you can also switch, switch, switch the colors here, like so. Can be black, or can be blue, or even gold if you want to. Black. But, but I think I'm gonna stick with this red one because they are orange or red in the in the game, so I'm going to to keep this color. So it looks really cool. And then I, I decided to leave the vines like this because we do um, get out of the previous area by climbing a vine, and then Mario just ends up here and starts running across. It's kind of like a speedrun section, kind of. You can just wobble around and, and jump and jump. And it's mainly comprised of, of normal Goombas, those blue uh, Octo Goombas, then a big ass piranha plant in the middle that you must defeat in order to unlock the, um, the, the Star Warp. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, take, care, take care of the enemies now. I'm gonna add something new that I haven't, sh sh I haven't used for this level before, which is platforms. There's multiple styles of platforms you can add to, can, a, lo a lot of different styles, but for this level, I'm probably going to use the the yellow girder because it does have that the more sci-fi and futuristic uh, theme going on. So yeah, I'm going to go with that. Yeah, there we go. The platform is working. All right. Then we reach to, to the star warp area. I mean, to be fair, in the, in the original map, you can also get by pretty quick if you just long jump your way carefully. But yeah, you're going to have to find a way to get up here. I still have yet to figure that out. Instead of uh, using a, a, a big piranha plant, I'm gonna use a, an emerald maybe, who's protecting the, the thing, the beanstalk. Actually, yeah, I think this, this can work. Instead of, yeah, let's, let's use an emerald instead of, um, of a piranha plant for this, for sure. I will do just this. And yeah, just, just leave it like so. Th these guys, like, gonna protect the, um, the way to access to the little the piranha plant Mario will, will be it will be able to stand on these platforms there are semi solids you can go you can go through below and just stand on top of, of these tiles At this point on we can just just jump in between the four stars and then move on to the next area which should be the second to last if I'm not mistaken so yeah wait yeah I, I think I think this, this will be really fun I think that we have one more area left before we add to the, to the dino piranha planet or or ball, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, this is okay. This is looking not. It's actually looking really, really kind of fun. This is looking a little bit better than I expected, to be honest. So yeah, this is good pace and uh, yeah, on the next area, let's go. Now we have this really small planet. I mean, there's nothing else going on here besides uh, a few goom octo goombas, three of them, a, po a bunch of rocks, and a, a, move a moving one, a moving platform. And then some some extra star bits and an NPC Luma here. We're gonna add something else because there are no Lumas in the game yet. And then we have a an, an, a locked or a trapped star warp. We're gonna make a pretty small rock and see how it goes. We're gonna spawn from this side, then we're gonna end around here, way here on top. So yeah, let's get to it. Alright, we're pretty much uh, done with this little rock mountain. I mean, there's nothing, nothing much else to do as it is in the original game. Now we have this, this talking flower from Super Mario Bros. Wonder instead of the Luma. And, um, you know, the, the, the Luma talks about uh, not being able to use your actual Luma that you used to, to do the spin attack. But since you can't do it here, I'll uh, just give, give it a, an encouraging message like, you're almost there, you can never give up. Yeah, something like that. Uh, yeah, uh, there's nothing else to it. 
just nothing else going on. But uh, let's see how this goes. Almost there. Wait for the Goomba. Then stomp on it. Careful with this other one. Don't be careless and actually do this and bam. Simple as that. Careful not, not to touch the not to strike them at the same time, but better do this and bam. On to the, the boss room you go. And yeah, a very exciting part is coming up, so stick around and see what's gonna be for the dino for the dino piranha plant boss. Which, uh, well, surprise, surprise, it, it won't be a, a, a Piranha boss, but someone else instead, and it's not in Super Mario Galaxy. So, let's take a look. Alright, here we go. On to the last map. I'm, sh I'm giving a bluish hue for this one. And uh, my plan is to basically just form a, a, a sphere, or, or a circle, really. But, or do my best to draw a circle in my pixel art, right? And then... At our boss, right on top of it, right on, or on, right on, on top of, of a row of tiles that only enemies can stand on, and not Mario. And I'll make this map um, have both a uh, screen map uh, on both the Y and X axis, just like we did for that um, that um, dumb, the, for the dumbbell planet. Okay, let's get into drawing the the rock planet. Mm, yeah. Okay. I try. I try my best. Okay. Our little ball is finished. Yeah, pretend or pre at least pretend this is a ball, okay? I, I don't even care anymore. Okay, now to add some gravity to always keep us in place. And before I forget, to set up the screen wrap. Screen wrap both axis. Yes. Please and thank you. Now to add, add back the gravity. Generitos, where are you? Okay, it's time to reveal who the boss is gonna be. It is none other than Boom Boom. Yeah, Boom Boom in Super Mario World. Yeah, yes, this, this is the same guy that came from Super Mario 3 and the, the one you see in Super Mario 3D Land and, well, 3D World. Back from Wii U, yes, you are correct. Don't worry, I will add something to make the battle a little bit more challenging, for sure. Okay, this is the tiles I've been talking about. It is the only where only enemies can stand on. So, yeah, let me just try and move like six from each side. Five, six, okay. Let's let's have him have a three three HP, and uh, this will be auto in, auto increase and have a stronger jump height. About uh, eight hundred or seven sixty eight or whatever that this thing is. Okay, this is only for wing mode. We, we, we're not having no such thing yet. Well, at least for this one. So let's see how, how this plays out. A little too easy. I don't want to make this too easy. Wow, okay. Okay, yeah. Oh, but then it disappears. Yeah, this is going to be a little, a little problematic for sure. I'm just, just gonna spread these for the entire length of the thing. But I'm gonna add also gonna add some Mario some tiles where only Mario can stand on as well. So yeah. Maybe a, a six wide and four wide and then another four. No, actually six. It needs to be six. Okay, uh should be good. Still will be a little bit easy. Yeah, it's still gonna be a little bit possible. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Now let's have him jump higher, if it's possible. Uh, oh, I, I can't. Damn. Actually, phase three. Why not? Let's see how all this plays out. This will involve a lot of testing for sure. Okay, maybe I could make him a little, a little bit faster. Oh, he clipped through the floor. The madman. The actual madman, Jesus. Okay, <laughs> Jesus. Okay. This looks like it could be. It looks like it could be a little bit frustrating, but. All right. <laughs> uh. Yeah. <laughs> it is a little bit concerning. <laughs> Let's actually make it a little bit more manageable by having a few moving platforms. Yes, you heard me right. Uh, 
Yeah, this, this that idea didn't, didn't work as well as, I, as it did in my head, so... Yeah, gonna try something else. Let's head a few platforms. Screen up, screen up boys only. Hey, screen up boys only. Reason repeat. Oh, I forgot to check this, check this option. No, I don't want to do that. No, bad. Stay. Stay. And maybe add a few falling platforms. For good measure. Actually, no. I have a better idea for this. I'm actually gonna have... Wait for it. Donut blocks. Yeah. These little things spread out through the entire length. There will be, then it will be easier to to predict where we're gonna land from, from above, so yeah, I think this will be a fair compromise, so let's test this out. Okay, whoa! Okay, but then Boom Boom actually will also walk on all those things. So maybe you're just gonna have Maybe just start him up here, for sure. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, this can work. Uh, Alright, okay, yeah. That is better. Yeah, this can work quite nicely. Yo, look at me go. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> look at Mario go. Yeah, I, th I think uh, it, this went a little smoother than I expected, but uh, yeah, I did have to revise this a few times, more times than I actually predicted, but yeah, uh, it, 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 it does work. <laughs> well, aside from, I could lay a few, a few coins around, scatter a few coins over here, yeah, why not? Lay some more around here, yeah, it's not a re really difficult fight, just uh, might be a little wacky at first, but yeah, that is the point. A wacky boss battle for a wacky and a wacky recreation. It's still a little bit easy in my easy in my view, but yeah, even if you fail, you can always try it again. Re retrace your steps, and yeah, bam. Okay, this, I'm actually satisfied with this, for real. Yeah, even though it's a shame that we can have more boss, we don't have, we still don't have uh, more bosses in the game. I think it, it, it's kind of a fun way to take a, an already uh, simple boss like Boom Boom and uh, just to add these castor contraptions to make the fight a little bit more interesting. So, yeah, I'm, overall, I'm I kind of like what, what I cooked up here. So, yeah, definitely not. Maybe I should have uh, more more platform just for good measure. Just to make this a little bit more consistent. It's a little bit better, I guess, but... Hmm. I probably should space them out. Okay, you know you can't reach up from way uh, way below. Try and stay in the platforms, and bam. Perfect! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, this works! And that's... Okay, that's pretty much every main area finished, so... Yeah, this was pretty good progress. Yeah. We f did it! Alright, time to boot this sexy beast up. As you can see, I've made some changes. Now he has this as the actual terrace background, drawn by yours truly. And Rosalina. She actually has dialogue! Look at it! Oh! She's talking! He's Gives a brief, she gives a briefing to our mission and pretty much, yeah, she actually talks. Here's the cutscene, all in its full glory. And bam, I added some more scenery and a really nice uh, custom background to this. This one is simply beautiful. Now we test to the other side, added s some more scenery, because the, the Super Mario Concert community loves scenery. Not a day goes by until they they don't revere scenery. I mean, I'm guilty of the same problem, so... <laughs> this time I also added the bonus zones from the that galaxy. Instead of having those, those musical notes, I have made something like this. I include this kind of puzzle. So, 
we have to deactivate this uh, stream down below in order to get the dragon coin. Let's take to the, the actual um, vanilla path. Okay, I, I switched to the type of springs. These ones with the brick below uh, means that Mario isn't able to carry them like we actually did before. Get this sort of little voice line too. Uh, wink wink to Captain Toad. Okay, now I, I also get this uh, custom background, and it scrolls! Look at it! It's actually like a planet! Yeah, uh, anyway, moving on. Hitting the, this sideways switch is actually pretty tricky, so... There we go, moving on. Okay, so instead of giving this a uh, fire flower, uh, I, I'm afraid the fire flower will make this a little bit too easy. You can still get rid of most enemies with ease, with the bubble flower. And you have to make sure you still will able to be will be able to to actually give birth to the beanstalks with the shells. This way, wait for the other shell, and bam. On to the next area, area we go. Also decorated the, the bean a little there. Made, made it a little bit more pretty with the bushes and stones, the rocks. And I decided to um Replace the flip blocks because it could get in the way and uh, it artificially made that jump a little bit too hard and I uh, kind of didn't like that. So I switched with these little platforms, which are donut blocks. These gray ones uh, fall fast and don't respawn, while these the red ones, these ones you are just are falling, do uh, fall fast but they do respawn, unlike the gray ones. So and I actually recreated the flip switch with this are enough. On and off map. Look at it. I added some scrolling background too, a little toad to give the player a little bit of information. Uh, it's self explanatory. Kick the shell and navigate through the on and off block maze. Like so. Yeah. Brown piece which uh, transforms um, those brown blocks into brown coins. Chocolate coins, if you will. There we go. Also, um, I also made this area a little more prettier with the scenery and... Gotta have some scenery! Yep. Pretty much. E even if you strike them at the both, uh, both flip blocks at the same time, you can always go down here and come, and come back from this. And I actually included some cyan crystals to inside the planet. Just so that they're not completely uh, removed from the level, you know, gotta have some source material from there, right? And yeah, while well, face off with Boom Boom, uh, yeah, that wasn't very brilliant of me. Okay, one more hit, and he is gone. Bye bye. Ah, I couldn't get the, the last coins. Eh, I still get it. I still, and we still finish the level. So yeah. I will. I definitely will make this uh, level shareable, so you can play. And and yeah, it, um, the link will be, will be down in the description and in the pinned comment down below. And yeah, definitely check out this game. It's pretty awesome, and there's already so much you can do with it. And if you're wondering, yes, I I do delve in in I do delve in, in other topics and other tutorials about this game and other showcases. So like this little video, uh, there over there. Yeah, you see it. Yeah. Good. And, and yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.